thank you all for joining me and welcome back to Icarus. So uh, in the last video, I said I probably wasn't going to show you, but I did say I was not going to show you. I was just going to set it up off screen, but I think I'm going to set most of it up off screen, on screen, I think, or some of, uh, some of it at least anyway, because I know some of you like seeing that bit, some of you don't. So yeah, I've got to try and, try and please everybody if I can. Uh, so I've got loads of stuff here. I'm just trying to sort out what I want and what to, to get us started. And uh, yeah, we've actually got this water thing here. Now coming to the water, the new water update, um, that actual, uh, if I'll show you actually, the actual pump down here, the purifier is not meant to connect to the actual sink, unfortunately. Um, now I had to go and check back at the no on the notes uh, regarding it. And you have to actually directly interact with the thing at the bottom which is this here, look. Uh, you have to interact with this to actually get it out because there's no, because otherwise you'd need two connections for the water pipe. You'd need one connecting from the actual main source here, so it would purify, and then you'd need one connecting to the actual sink. I've tried connecting directly, but that won't make any sense because then there'll be no water coming in. You've got to have water coming in uh, for it to actually purify the water, of course. Uh, and like it says in the notes as well, that if you've got a, a, a higher tier of water, the, high, the highest purified water, uh, and then you fill it with a, a lower tiered water, if there's still some high tier water left in there, it will, re it, it will revert to the lower tier water, uh, the purified water. Uh, so, so there is that. So unfortunately that doesn't connect to the sink. So I think I am fine with the 10%. I don't think it's gonna break my game. It's not gonna kill me or anything like that. So I think it will be fine. Uh, and obviously we're going up to the next base now to sort that out. So I have actually got this uh, basic rainwater. Now the tier ones, which are these ones here, you've got the basic rainwater purifier and you've also got the basic water purifier. Now I believe the tier ones are not supposed to take any fuel at all uh, from what I understand. Uh, I think one of the devs mentioned that it was a um, it was overlooked or a bug and it's not supposed to take any charcoal, I don't think anyway. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see. So if that's going to get fixed, because um, there is a few bugs in this, uh, which is to be expected, because sometimes things get overlooked and stuff like that. Although technically they shouldn't really. It should um, double check, triple check, quadruple check everything before it goes live. But uh, yeah, these things can slip through, I guess. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to actually get some of the actual stuff ready. Uh, so... Uh, what we've got, I've got, I've been going around getting loads of materials. I've got a load of wind turbines, and because of where we're going to be building, I'm basically just going to have those for now. Eventually, we'll get some solar panels sorted out, but for now, this is probably the cheaper option because I already have these uh, available to us. So I'm going to want a glass working bench. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to craft it here because we've got a lot to carry. Uh, so, and I've also got some walls, stone walls, and some stone floors as well that we're actually going to be. Um, building up on the actual workshop that we're going to have there, which is going to be another temporary one until we move, because we're going to be moving again uh, on the third build, which will actually be in the Arctic, of course. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build everything I want to build. Uh, so I want to go and build a material processor, of course. Now I was going to do the uh, do this, uh, which I will do, but I'm just going to hold off on that because of the materials, because it's going to be another 60 electrical electronics. Uh, so we're just going to hold off on that. So I'm just going to grab the uh, material processor, which is going to be a lot better for us. Uh, we're also going to want the electric masonry bench as well. So I'll go ahead and craft that up. Uh, we're also going to want the electric carpentry bench. So we'll go ahead and craft that up as well. And we are going to be a bit heavy, uh, but we should be okay getting there. Uh, so we've got those two. Um, now i do want this uh i am going to need some more i've got some more in here actually i'm just going to grab these uh i do want this now i was looking at the map of where we are we're here and the nearest water source is there so to be honest with you it's going to be better to just get a wire coming over here uh for the water pump and stuff like that plus we can get some salt water fish from there as well um and then eventually maybe get some fish pies and stuff like that <laughs> they're actually really good though i do like those i tried them in the last playthrough and they're really really good Okay, so we do need, I did make some more cement here, concrete mix. So I am gonna go ahead and craft that as well. Go ahead and craft that. Uh, right, is there anything, I think I was gonna do a solar power, 
but I don't I'm, I, I think I'm although we do need quite a lot of power I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and do it because we only need another what 14 more so let's have a look so what would be like 10 20 38 42 so we'd need 42 of these yeah let's go ahead and do a solar panel 40, 42 of those and we'll need 14 of these of course there we go so although there might actually already been some actually what do we need 14 let's see what 14 gives us 110 yeah that's fine we'll just do that okay so let's go ahead and get that sorted and then for the 14 we are also going to need some so we're going to need 28 of each of these so 28 organic resin and 28 of the other stuff uh which we have actually got so in fact go half and half and we can go ahead and get those 14 done and that'll give us enough to get everything sorted out then um and that will also give us a solar panel but we'll also use the wind turbines as well because uh, we'll get 5,000, we're going to need more than 5,000. Um, oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, I haven't got the... Uh, we'll sort the power stuff out afterwards. Because uh, I just realised we're going to need the, um, the monitor thing, this. What's it called? A, a flow meter. But do we really need it straight away? Because um, we haven't got batteries or anything like that. So I think for now, we just need to make sure we've got enough power to power the stuff that we're using for now. And then we'll add to that later on. So, yeah. Uh, I think we can use it without that anyway. So we should be able to do a 14 of these now. And then we can go ahead and get... What was it that I was getting? Uh, yeah, getting one of these. I just need 60 uh, glass. Have we... Oh. Well, I had glass. 20, 40, 50, I'll tell you what, let's just do this. Oh, I've got too much stuff on me, hold on. Got the 60 there anyway, so that's fine. Huh? I've got the 60 in there. Must have been a lot of glass I just got from there. Oh, wow. How much glass did we get from that? Yeah, they're actually pretty expensive, aren't they, anyway? So, yeah, at least we've got plenty of glass now. Um, we've got these now, so we can go ahead and sort that out. Can we actually get one of those? Yes, we can. We've got everything we need for that. So that's good. Uh, so we can sort that out. I have got the anvil over there, but uh, eventually we will have the uh, this here. Uh, but we have actually got an outdoor one. So we could take that with us uh, and use the forge for now uh, rather than... Do you know what? I'm just going to use the anvil. It's fine. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use the anvil and then we'll eventually go to the electric one. Yeah, I think that'll be fine like that. Uh, so uh, how much space have I got on me at the moment? Because I would like to take... So I've got a little bit of iron on me there. Is there anything else I really, really need? I'm not sure. Right, let me just sort through this and have a look. So we've got we've got the uh, water pump. We've got a, a basic rainwater purifier. Um, we've got the material process. I know we can get the sink and that, but that's later on. We're not going to... We just need to get stuff to get us set up there. So And then we'll get that later on. So that's the reason why I'm just going to go for these for now. I know we can get like a, a sink and... We can get the other one, but we're going to have to wait until later on for that. And then we've got the glass working bench because we're going to need uh, glass. Uh, we've also got the electric masonry bench, which we can set up. And also the electric carpentry bench. Now, and we've also got... Where are they? We've also got these here, and we've also got the solar panel as well. So that's going to give them some power to power everything on. I'm going to put all of these at the bottom, and then the other ones are going to go at the top, just for wiring purposes although it doesn't really matter too much on the work on the work working area kind of thing so that's not too bad i guess uh we have got a storm uh there's um yes i think we've got everything let me just double check let me just double check all right um yeah i might take a few other bits like some rope and stuff uh, i'm gonna grab some more iron so we can get nails sorted out as well um 
That'll be fine. Yeah, that. Or 60 there. Um, what else are we going to need as well? I can't think of anything else we're going to need. Because um, the rest of it we can get sorted out there. Now I'm probably going to get... I'm gonna, when, once, we, once I've set up here, I'm probably I'm going to look out for um, ore extracting places. Because uh, we might as well and uh, get it from there as well. I mean, we can come back here. It's not too far away. Although I went in a bit further than I expected uh, to here. Uh, but it is fine. In fact, maybe it would have been better for me to come a bit closer to here. But it's not like we can't run a wire from there. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so it really isn't. So let's have a look at what we've got again. And just make sure I've got everything. What else can I take with me? Because um, I should be able to make everything else there now. I mean, I'm probably going to have to come back. There's one thing I want to take. I'm going to take that. Oh, we want that, don't we? Uh, I'm going to see if we've got any more of that. Put some there. See all those wind turbines. We might as well utilize those. Eventually, I'll probably end up destroying them. I think what we're going to do, we're going to put those there. Uh, these are, uh, in fact, I don't think I'm only just going to grab a 100 stack. Because uh, we need those for the, what was it? For the spawn blocker thing. Uh, which, to be honest with you, we should be fine with. Because uh, it's just like them. Um, Antelope and stuff like that that's actually spawning in there, isn't it? So really, so it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, all our tools are all uh, sorted out. In fact, I do need to sort my bow out. Oh yeah, I need to go on here, I don't know. I just want to repair that. I know it's only half damage, but I might as well just get that repaired. And then we'll go. Now, we don't really, we will get the electrical, the electric textiles bench eventually. That's what we'll get. These we can get later on. And we don't need the chemistry bench. We really don't. There's nothing in here that I need, to be honest with you. I'm not in this playthrough anyway. Uh, so we should be good to go. So I just want to make sure I've got everything, actually. Yeah, I've got some of those. We will do, like, a roofing at the top as well. And then, hopefully, in the next video, we can actually get started. So obviously, we're going to have to go now and sort some stuff out, get everything set up, and then we should be good. Now, it's, it doesn't take too long to get where we're going. It really doesn't. Uh, especially once, when you've got a mirror as well. It's a lot quicker as well. And you can outrun most things. Actually, all things, I think. Let me just make sure. We've got some stuff on him here. We've got, that's all he could carry. Literally all he could carry there. So that's all he's got on there. So, let's feed him. Make sure he's fully fed so we can get there a bit quicker. I put a light on because it's a little bit dull because we've got a storm on as well, so yeah. And I think we'll just do it like we did before, like with this one. We kind of slowly built up uh, and started building, you know. Now, I will probably have to come back here for the ore extractors and that because we have got like, what, two iron, two, two uh, I think we've got two sulfur, two copper and all that lot of stuff. So we can utilize those. There's no point leaving those and not touching them at all. So, whether I actually get any more extractors down there, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I mean, for most people, that would probably be a good idea. But, I've got the mirror, and I can carry quite a lot of ore anyway. So, I don't think it's... I don't know. I don't know. I'll decide. I'll decide at the time when we need it. I mean, we have got some caves in that, so we can get some ore and stuff as well. So, it's not too bad of a thing. Uh, I want to be quick here. Got polar bear and a mammoth. And I haven't took my water out, but we won't be here long anyway, so it don't really matter. This is oh I thought that was something else then. I hope I'm not being chased by a polar bear. I didn't look round. Whoa! This way, innit? No, that wasn't the way. Been there a few, I've been coming... It's this way, yeah, I went the wrong way. Okay, so... Oh, I've run out of stamina. Okay, so it's a bit of a weird way to get to this. Well, it's not, because it's like a little hole that goes through, but you can't come out of it, so... 
sometimes I end up going through there and end up having to come back out again to go around. Uh, but yeah. Right, okay, so and we've got all this ore and that around us as well, so that's good. So we can get plenty of oxide here. So that's not too bad. I might. Obviously, I wanted to be sustain self sustaining as well as um, me just using resources there. So eventually, we'll get it to a point where um, we're actually doing our own stuff at that base. So it doesn't really matter that much then. Uh, I should be able to switch that off. I don't think it's too dark now, is it? I just don't remember which way to go, though. I just want to get my stamina back up on my mower. Just in case we run into any trouble. Yeah, and it's just down here. And to the left. And it's just up the top there. Okay, so we are going to have to, like I say, we're going to have to run a, run a rock wire going all the way from that leg, which we will just sort that out. It's a shame I can't lay the wire while I'm on my mower. <laughs> I'm going to have to go there without my mower because otherwise, uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Right, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to set this up and I want to build this up a bit higher as well. I could technically leave them out here, but... Hey, what? Let's do this. No, not that. Put that in there. That actually lasts quite a while. Right, is that on now? Yeah, it's not a big enough area, but once we've built over there and we put the electric one in, then we should be okay here. Uh, I am going to bring him in here just in case anything spawns in. Anything unsavory spawns in, of course. Uh, so, now... What I want to do before we do anything else is... I'm just going to drop some stuff... Oh, hold on a minute. No, get off there. Uh, I'm just going to drop some stuff off really quick, real quick. Um, in fact, what we can do is... Yeah, I'm just going to drop some of these stuff off in here just to get it out of my way a minute so we can sort this out. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I want to put the electric stuff down here and the other stuff at the top there. So we've got the electric measuring bench here. So we're going to go and place that here. I'll take some weight off. As obviously we uh, see, as you can see there, the water it says optional. So you don't have to use it with the water, but it would be better to have it with water because it will speed it up a little bit uh, when it comes to stuff like uh, the cement mix and stuff like that, as well as building parts. Uh, but yeah. But you don't have to have that. If you haven't got any access straight away, you can still use it without it, as long as you've got power, of course. Uh, so what I want to do now is... I wanna, I'm going to go to sleep in a minute, because I'll just realise something. It's actually coming up to night time. So what I want to do here is... I'm going to add some more flooring, look. Going around the side here. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger going around here. So we've got a little bit more space for like storage and stuff like that. And then we go, okay, so uh, we just need some walls now. One there. Got a window there. Got our, we've got to have some windows. I've done this a little bit differently. I'm not doing a balcony or anything like that. That looks a bit yellowish. It should be okay, though. Are they all like that? Ooh. Green, that's green. If we do this, then... It's... Yeah, I think once we connect this to... Uh, it should actually fix that, although it's still a bit... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it should be fine. It will be. It'll be fine. Just gonna put these walls going across here. Uh, we're not going to need more walls. We can actually make some more walls anyway. Oh, look at you! Look at you! Right. Uh, have I not got my light on? Why have my light on? Oh, I switched it off when I came in. Right. Okay. So we need to get some sleep now. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay. We should have a lot of stuff to collect from the ore extractors as well on the top there as well. Uh, I might just do a flat roof here, you know. Uh, so we need, what, two more walls. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do a flat roof. Because it's like, like I say, it's just a... It's literally just a workshop. And it's not going to be here forever, so... So we might as well just do a flat roof. There's no real reason to go a bit mad on this one until we actually start building the actual main parts, what we're actually building. Uh, so let's have a look here at what I've got here. Right. I need to get the roof up there first. Uh, I need a couple more walls. Did I bring any nails? Oh, uh, yeah, I can't actually make nails anyway, but we have got some nails in here. Let me just grab those in a minute. So I need a couple more walls. Let's get those sorted out. I do need some more flooring. I think we've got some more flooring, but I'm just going to make some more. We've got enough here to do it. So we might as well. Okay, so we've got those two there. And then I just need to work out how many we need. So we need one, two, three, four. So four, eight, 16, 20. So we need another 20. Wow, okay. That's fine. I just want that. Even though it's going through there, it's just connecting up. Uh, so we need another 20 of these. Uh, did I take the ones out of here? No, I didn't. So we only need one. Look at that. Good job I noticed that in it. Do you know what? I would have made... Do you know what? I, I would have made the 20 and then realised, damn it, there's, there's 19 on there. <laughs> on the mower. God. So glad I actually checked that. Now, like I say, this is not staying here. This is just a workshop until we get the base up and running, which is going to be over there. Um, so this, I'm not really fussed about making it nice and stuff like that. It's just basically getting it set up so that it's actually going to work the way we want it. Uh, let me just... Um, I kind of need to... Okay, yeah, we can move that. So I'm just looking at things we can move out the way and put stuff in here because all the electric stuff is going at the bottom here. Uh, I never got a lot of room up here, but we've got more room, room up here than we have down there. But we can do some storage up down up here as well. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. That's out of the way now. We can get that. Okay. It's out a lot more than that, okay. Uh, we also want to take... Grab that. We're going to be... I don't know why I made these, because I just went straight for the actual post, uh, the thing anyway, so yeah, I'm not going to bother putting them back down. I honestly don't know why I made those. Uh, we've got a load of stuff in here. I'm going to take all. And we've still got room to move that. That's good. It's like I picked quite a quiet spot. It's just our like antelope and stuff like that around here, so it's not too bad. Was that a... Uh... Oh, no, it wasn't. I thought that I might have been a hyena that just spawned in then, just as I said that. Uh, so what we've got there, we've got this. So I'm going to try and keep these condensed over this side. And then what we can do is we can put storage on the other side. That's my idea anyway. Uh, see that needs that requires water so we're going to have that downstairs anything that needs requiring water or power is going to stay downstairs and everything else is going to go upstairs uh, so we've also got this here uh, it just makes it easier for the actual um, for when it comes to you know wiring up and stuff so so we're going to go ahead and place this here we will get an electric one eventually it looks like I can actually just fit that right in there which is pretty cool there we go. So we can literally just uh, overlay that. That'll be fine. Um, and what else have we got now? We've got this. Yeah. I'll take that up as well. In fact, we might be able to keep that down here. Got this as well. Didn't really... N yeah, I still need this, actually. So this is going to go at the top. Okay. Yeah, we still do need that. So this can go over here, look.
you know, that'll be fine there because we didn't bring the forge with us, did we? We're just going to use that for now until we get the electric one sorted out. Although that'll probably be in the main build. Yeah, I've got to think about how that's going to have work now because of the design I'm going to be doing. Because, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll work it out. We will definitely work it out. Okay, so let's have a look at um, what we've got to place down now. In fact, I've still got to move this, Anna. But let's leave that for now. This is quite a lot to move there. Although I was going to, it's about to run a room anyway. So I'm going to put the carpentry bench right here. Okay, uh, we've also got the glass working bench, which is going to require water as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. Uh, we've also got the uh, processor as well, so I'm just going to put that right here. There we go. Okay, uh, so we can move that eventually, which we will do. And I think we've literally got everything down. I, we should get rain in the desert. Not as much, but we should get rain in the desert. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this down here for now. Now, this is, it's, it says fuel here. But I don't think this is meant to have fuel. It's a tier one. So, from what I understand. But I might be wrong on that, just so you know, just in case. Um, so, let me just drop some of the stuff off in here, actually. Okay, so I've got all of that, that, that. I just want to drop a load of this stuff off we've got here. Uh, and then we can get everything powered and wired up. I'm going to put that in there. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm not going to make you sit through me doing the wiring. I'll do that afterwards. So I'll do that off screen. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Right. So let's have a look at where I want this. Okay, that looks pretty clear there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this down here. Okay, and then we've also got some wind turbines we can place down as well. I didn't want to bring too many of these because we're just going to switch the solar panel anyway because uh, it's just, uh, yeah. Is that too close? Yeah, it is. Oh, it does me add in with these things. It should show... Do you know when you're placing it down? I don't know whether it does or not. It should show you where it blocks. I don't understand why they didn't do that. That doesn't... You know, quality of life stuff. So they're trying to guess. Or going too far. See again? Oh, there we go. I think other, game, other games I've played do that. They, when you're placing something down, it, uh, if asked to have a set, if it, it'll go red if it can't go there because it's being blocked by something. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go as far as I can, to be honest with you. Just makes it easier, I think. Obviously, I'm going to have to repair these and stuff as well. Uh, at least for now. Because we're not in easy mode. Uh, I have actually got here what we've we got there a light sandstorm well they're thinking about it i don't think that bloody thing's gonna work i think we're just gonna need to get a sink Do you know that rain catcher thing yeah i might have to put the thing down oh god i don't know i might have to rethink this actually i've just realized that rain catcher thing because I don't think we're going to get rain here, are we? It doesn't work until you put fuel in it anyway at the moment, so it is what it is. I'm sure they'll sort it. There we go. So those are all connected. Uh, what we need to do now is get the cabling going over to here. Not doing anything special. We're just sort of like just getting it in. Getting it connected and pop your uncle. All right, let me just uh, check where everything is.
Well, actually, uh, that just requires water there, doesn't it? So all the power is this side. So we've got one, two, and three. Okay. What I'm going to do is we'll do that. I should do... Uh, I can't be bothered with that, to be honest with you. I'm just going to do this, look. It doesn't really matter in this one. Like I say, uh, the main build, it'll be hidden. As best as I can get it, of course. I really think they should change the wires and change the system when it comes to the wiring because uh, I think a lot of people are complaining about that and rightly so. It looked ugly when you're trying to build something. It just looks far too ugly. And it's not exactly the easiest thing to hide these things. And they're pretty big for wires, to be honest with you. If we're being honest, they are pretty big for normal wires. Okay, that'll be fine. So that's all of those connected. Obviously, we've still got water to connect to those, but we can still use that without water, of course. Uh, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so we should be okay on that. Let me just eat some. Let me just eat some meat. I think some just gone off. Uh, yeah, so we've got a bit of a sandstorm. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? I don't... F I mean, it's a, yeah, I mean, we're in a desert, aren't we? So you're not going to get much rain at all, if any. So it's probably not a good idea. I think I brought the wrong thing with me. I should have got the one from the actual... In fact, what I might do... Yeah, I think we need to bring the one from the lake, from the river that I've got, and take it down to the... I mean, it's not too far away. I can go in the mirror to go and fill it up and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've just realized that. Now, I'm wondering in the Arctic, would the snow fill it up? That's a, that's a good point. I've never tried it, to be honest with you. So, I would have thought so, because snow would melt then. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But ma ma mainly in the actual, in this area, you'll just get, like, sandstorms, heat waves, and stuff like that. I don't think I've ever seen rain in the desert on this, but I mean, you never know. You never know. It does happen. It can happen. Anyway, guys, I am going to call it here. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.